The 2023 Potluck Matsuri came and went, and our dream of group building a chassis never came to fruition. Sometimes that's the way it goes when you're having too much fun. Luckily in the months to follow, I was extremely motivated to get this stunning specimen to a point of reveal. Behold, the Yokomo Master Drift 1.0 with a gold carbon conversion from RSpec Manufacturing. Our Master Drift is outfitted with the optional 4 gear transmission and we added a CLSD configured with 8 gears and hard springs while we were inside. The Rev-D Servo and V4 Gyro is a combo that never fails. We love running it and it's really easy to set up. A Master Drift demands the best performance, so we opted to put in an Accuvance power plant with the Jarvis XX ESC and an Agile 10.5 turn motor with a torque rotor. At this point, there was nothing left to do except put the name to the test and see if this Master Drift could hold up. It was a lot of fun pulling this old S2000 build out of retirement and giving it some fresh life on track with the homies. Before long, the master was jumping into some videos, hunting doors. Here we are chasing Mac and his custom wide body beamer sitting on top of the Rev D RDX. Here I am chasing Daniel, and he made tuning this car a ton of fun. Realizing that the car was there totally as a driver, now it was begging to get itself a fresh shell to show off. The Seji S14 from Arlos 24K. Crispy details and great fitment of parts. The extra detail parts available including rear window spoiler, mirrors, and light buckets add that depth of realism that more experienced scale drivers demand. Albeit on the heavy side, this shell really hits all the boxes for a flashy lid. Locally we have a healthy population of part shop Taka livery cars. So you can imagine my excitement when I discovered this late model S14 piloted by Takumi Yokota was available for purchase in one tenth scale, directly from Japan. Let's go! Within a few weeks, I had the livery in hand and the final parts mock-up complete. Our S14 was ready to be cleaned, masked, and painted. With inspiration burning, to the garage we go. Before we get moving, I want to explain here why I'm using a spoon. I like to use spoons as a base to spray test swatches, as they are cheap, they come in a variety of base colors, and they usually have some different surfaces so you can get a good feeling for how your color may bend or shift under the light. When you're ready to begin painting, spray your spoon with a base or dust coat the same way you would your shell. Repeat this process for each layer. First spraying your spoon, then your shell. Remember to check your spoon under a desired light source and compare the color of your inspiration and your sample. In my case, my white spoon prompted me to stop at 5 coats of my custom tinted Mission Model Blue to nail the pristine hue I'm after. 
With our perfect blue achieved, it was time to add those details that help a body build go from rookie to master. Gloss black interior window trim and the exterior rubberized window and door trims are one of the first things that help camouflage an RC into something more resembling its one of one inspiration. Using a fresh blade, I freehand cut and remove the sections of mask, exposing the areas I want to paint black. I cut along the exterior molding lines and remove the overspray mask, which reveals your first glimpse of your true final color. It's a tedious process, but practice as much as you can on your scraps that have overspray film, and you too can cut primo details with ease. On the front bumper, I remove the entire masking on the front lip and then remask the front edge back with a piece of tape. Revealing the perfect blue line across the front edge of the lip was so satisfying. I love this detail. With painting concluded, it was time for final assembly, and I began by applying my Part Shop Taco livery. These liveries are pre-cut and really nice to use. The transfer paper peels back really easy, and the vinyl takes heat exceptionally well. 10 out of 10, I would absolutely recommend you get one for yourself. Don't forget to get some scale details from SRC and really bring home the Riller RC vibes. For a pro tip, during your final assembly, Always try to use latex gloves to keep your shell looking pristine. You definitely don't want to try and remove fingerprints before your first photo shoot only to scratch up your new lid. I'm super happy with the outcome and closeness to my inspiration's one of one car. Whew. After all that work, I'm ready to go have some fun. What do you say we hit the track and Check this thing out firsthand. Funny how the tables turned. Didn't think I'd go this far, but here we are, the end. Now you're just a lesson learned. A slowly fading memory, so I can breathe again. Gain my trust and you chose to break it. Overall, the Master Drift is living up to its name and with the fine revisions of this last year making their way into an upcoming 2.0 release, this chassis is sure to be at the top performing level for the foreseeable future. We sure love our unique potluck inspired chassis plates, bumper, battery mounts, and body magnet mount from our spec. And when the harmony of a killer body build meets a killer chassis, the outcome is sure to be nothing but awesome. I also want to give a big thanks to Mac, Daniel, Greg, and Steven for helping me film parts for this video. We'll catch you next time.